Today on Ham Radio Q&A, receiving pictures from outer space, and you can do it with the equipment you have on hand, so keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, slow scan TV is a method of sending still pictures or images over the airwaves. Most frequently, you'll find SSTV operations on the HF bands, notably around on 20 meters. But there is also a bit of SSTV activity on the two meter bands, especially when the International Space Station activates their slow scan TV station. Slow scan TV events happen infrequently from the ISS, usually occurring well, once every few months, depending on the astronaut's schedule and workload. But when they do happen, you can expect a bevy of images beaming down from space as the station passes overhead. The images usually commemorate a space event of some sort, and anywhere from six to a dozen images in the series uh, will be transmitted. Now the difficult part isn't necessarily receiving the images, but getting them all, as you may only receive two or three images per overhead pass. And the ISS may only pass overhead a few times a day, depending on its orbit. So like I said, the challenge isn't necessarily receiving the images, but instead, how many different ones can you get? To receive the slow scan images, all you need is a two meter transceiver, either a mobile or a handheld unit, and some software running on a computer or your phone to process the SSTV tones into images. Since the ISS is line of sight when it is overhead, you don't need a fancy setup. Just this handheld radio and a high gain antenna will work plenty fine. What I'm using is my base radio with the speaker output plugged into an audio interface, which is then piped into the computer. The MMSSTV application then decodes the images. But enough about that. Let's watch, watch it happen as the International Space Station comes into range and transmits a slow scan TV image. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this piques your curiosity to try receiving images on the next ISS slow scan event. You can find out when that is on the ARISS slow scan TV blog. The link, I'll throw the link down below for you. For more articles and information, please check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support drives the production of future videos. So if you like this video, give me that big thumbs up and also check out some of the other videos that might be recommended alongside me here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Pressing subscribe notifies you when future videos are released. Well, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio Q&A. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and 73.